Deanna Lorraine with Hook Up with Deanna Lorraine. I'm a life coach that specializes in relationships and dating. Other people may call me a love coach. I'm also an NLP practitioner and hypnotherapist. When you kind of ask a girl out on the day of, or like after to hang out, like after 9 or 10 p.m., what, does that really mean you're not interested in her? Yes. Yeah. And what if she accepts that date? Would you think she was easy? Uh, yes. Okay. If you like a girl, how many days notice do you typically give her? A uh, couple hours, usually. If you like her? Yeah, yeah. I thought you said you, if you didn't like her, you'd give her a couple hours. Oh, I thought that was the, no, I got confused. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I misunderstood. The if question. you if you like a girl, would you give her a couple days it. notice? Um Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, well, how I get lost you... in your eyes and I can't follow some of the questions. <laughs> That's sweet. I haven't even gone that deep into it because all the nightmare stories that I've heard from other single people, but people lie. They say they're blonde, blue-eyed, and six foot, and they're bald, blue eyes, and five foot. I mean, people tell you what they think you want to hear, and it's too easy to lie online. Mm, yeah. I would not be interested in that. Mm -hmm. I hear you. But, uh, and so you've actually met people, and they're like way different looking than their picture online? My sister actually did this and uh, met a guy after he self-described like that, and he was just not at all what he described. And he was kind of like a stalker guy, and I, I don't want to do the online thing because I can't trust what people type. Yeah. You know, I just need to see their eyes and see who they are first. You are pretty. Thank you so much. We are doing a... Uh, I like you. I like you. <laughs> we're doing a, like, sort of a dating and romance in the city today in San Diego. And uh, we're getting some, uh, some honest feedback from guys here. Now, what would be some of your biggest turn-ons for a girl? Large breasts. <laughs> That's honest. That's honest. Or easy, if they're easy. If they're easy? Yeah. What about, um, so if they slept with you on a first date, would you assume that they were relationship material or otherwise? Uh, I would say definitely relationship material. Okay, okay. Yeah. And uh, what if she didn't sleep with you on the first date? Uh, would she be I, out on the curb? I've never dated a nun before, but I don't, I don't know. And what's the, what's the kinkiest thing you guys have ever done? Do you really want to share that one? I'm trying to think. There's a lot of, there's a lot of them. <laughs> Did like, you draw a picture of it that one time? You almost clawed my weird. nipple off back at Lahaina's. That's true. I do that. Claude, your nipple that was off? The most recent, that was the most recent kinky thing. Oh, I like it. As you guys were departing from your last interview, she flicked me in such a way that her claws, I felt as if my nipple had ripped off. My claws, yeah. yeah. That's love right there. That's true love. True love, true true love is what brings us together. Like what about what makes a guy a good kisser and what makes a guy sort of like you have chemistry with this guy. <laughs> oh, the chemistry. Um, oh God, it's hard to dis define chemistry, but a good kisser is someone who explores your mouth and yeah. doesn't just try to, <laughs> I'm getting an audience, who doesn't just try to um, force it, forcibly get in there, but just someone who's um, gentle and, and exploratory, yeah. I think, yeah. The worst is like a like someone with like sloppy lips that's like oh, all gross. Yeah. Or worse, the bird kiss, like mm. the peck, the the hard lips, the soft lips, and the exploring. Like exploring, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Anything to add to that? Not rushing it. <laughs> Not, Not rushing it. Don't jump the gun. Slow. Okay. Slow. Okay. These women like the slow pace. What do you think that women could do to be more successful with you and win your heart? Oh, uh, jeez. <laughs> Um, win my heart. I don't, yeah. I don't know. I would say, uh, I think you bat the eyes a little bit, and, mm -hmm. and then that's, that's all it takes. Mm, okay. 